Hi guys, wait. Hopefully this will be a bit better. But yeah, okay. So um today I'm doing my best of beauty 2017. So I'm just gonna be talking about my favourite beauty products I um this year. They may not have been released this year, but I've just loved them this year. So yeah. Okay, so I have a couple of foundations. I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Nude Ivory. This is just really nice. It comes with a um, spatula, which I quite like because you don't waste product. And it's just got really nice coverage and it's really affordable. I just wish this was easier to get in the UK. But I also have the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. Um, this is really nice. I am in the shade 120. And it just has nice coverage. It lasts really long, a really long time, and I just really like it. A concealer I've been loving this year is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. This is really nice and creamy. I have the shade Light Ivory. It's so much better than this Nars one. I hate Nars now anyway. Um, and it's just, oh, it just has like, such nice coverage. I also have a couple of powders. So I have the Essence Brighten Up banana powder bar bar banana and you can use this for baking and stuff and it's just this really soft yellow colour and it's just so soft like when you put your fingers in it it just feels so soft it looks a bit talky honey when you swatch it but it's it's just really ugh, when you just put your fingers in it it's just so soft and I have this elf cool tone correcting powder I like to use this over my foundation just to mattify it I don't know if that's what you're meant to do but as you can see I've hit pan and I bought this because Liv loves her makeup loves it and I just gave it a try and it's really good powder so what's that for blush I have been loving my Anastasia Beverly Hills radiant blush kit this is really nice um they also have one ingredient for which is better for darker skin tones um this is for limited edition for the holidays, uh, so they I think they still have them right now, but yeah. Anyway, my favourite colour, and here's this one, this is called Breeze, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. These are just so soft, and just a nice amount of pigment, and it's right there, and I just love them. They're so much better than the Tarte ones. I know everyone loves the Tarte ones, but I don't. It just has a really bad hard pan, and it, I just don't like it, but these really nice in my opinion so yeah and for bronzer i have of course the physicians formula butter bronzer i love this so much it smells so good it smells like coconuts oh it just smells so nice and it just has a really nice amount of pigmentation it's just beautiful um it's a bit chunky because you get this little thing which i haven't even take, taken out of the plastic but it's just really soft and just beautiful like and you won't be able to see this watch but it's just beautiful if you can get your hands on this it's so good it's totally worth it um so yeah okay now we've got a few highlighters so the i have been loving the anastasia beverly hills glow kits um i like the moonchild one but um I can't be bothered to talk about all of them. So this one's the sugar one, the four big pans. Um, I don't have the packaging. It's uh, yeah, blah blah blah. Um, but these are really nice wearable shades. Um, I got this because I thought I could like wear it, um, for like school and stuff, and I can. It's just really nice. Um, well, I don't know why I'm swatching them. You can't even see the swatches, but they're just really nice wearable shades, and they are really lovely formula. Um, I also have my where, where's it gone oh i really like my fenty beauty kilowatt duo highlighter in the shades lightning dust and fire crystal lightning dust more of a subtle highlight and fire crystal is more of a glittery highlight i know a lot of people don't like glittery highlights but i i quite like them this is really good for my skin tone uh so i'm really glad i picked this up although i kind of broke it like this video doesn't actually shut properly anymore though it's whatever I also have a couple more single highlighters. Oh no, three more. I forgot about one. But these, I just love highlighters, as everyone else does, pretty much. So I have this Mary Luminizer by The Balm. I've hit pan on this. Um, so I haven't used it in a while, because I don't want to use it up. 
this is a really nice highlighter really nice everyday highlighter it's just a nice yellow toned highlighter and it's just absolutely gorgeous um i when i first got this i used this so much oh my gosh i also have i only got this really recently so yeah but it kind of reminds me of the mary luminizer um actually it's a bit lighter than the mary luminizer but this is from pixie in collaboration with aspen Ovard. And this is in this is a glowy powder in the shade London Luster, and it's just so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's just stunning. It's a bit, it's got a lot of fallout when you put your brush in it, but it's gorgeous. I'm wearing it today, and you can see it. It just the pigment goes straight on. With some um, highlighters, I have to build them up, which is quite annoying. But with this, I don't. It just goes straight on, like bam, and it's just oh, it just gives me life. I just don't like screwing it on like that um so yeah i've been loving these two single ones and i've also been loving this um other kind of formula one this is by colourpop and this is just stunning if i ever buy from colourpop again i'm ordering like at least two more of these this is the super shop cheek um highlighter pearlized thing in the shade flexitarian um quite a few a lot of people talk, have talked about this and um, this is just the most stunning highlighter it's like this creamy like formula it's not a powder formula it's just oh, honey that is just that was so stunning again it's this um screw thing but it's literally amazing so yeah <sighs> so finally for like pure highlighters um highlight palettes highlighter singles on their own i have my favourite thing, I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills and the Nicole Guerrero Glow Care. I love this formula. Um, not necessarily all the colours, but the formula of these are amazing. Oh my gosh. Kitty Cat, for, <laughs> Kitty Cat Forever Lip, Forever Young. And Glow Getter I can wear. And these two are really nice eyeshadows. But they are stunning. I love the formula. And this was limited edition, but it's the most stunning thing ever. And oh. It, it just gives me life so yeah that's that palette um i have a few lip products as well i wanted to mention i just sneezed oh my gosh anyway so i have these two catrice cosmetics lipsticks i don't want this video to be too long so i want to hurry up but these two catrice cosmetics lipsticks this is in the shade 240 hey nude really pretty these feel like really luxury if i took these stickers off they'd be like luxury this is my favorite solid lipstick i've tried this i have got this one for christmas so that might be it but this is the shade 370 in a rose garden and this is just the most stunning thing ever these last really well they feel really nice on the lips so yes um i've also been really liking the wet and wild mega last lipstick with catsuit matte lipstick this is in the shade nudist peach it's just really nice but at first when you put it on it smells a bit weird but it lasts really well and it's not too drying so loving that that's a really good price too um i also love the colourpop lippy six these feel really nice if i order from colourpop again i'm ordering loads of these these feel really nice on the lips and a really good price um then i have oh another uh matte liquid lipstick is the kylie cosmetics oh, no kylie cosmetics oh, well. um but this is in the shade coco k i've had this for like a year and a half but this is really good the formula of these is actually really nice so yeah i'll be hitting but she getting her coin i also really like this year some glosses um this is the fenty beauty oh, this is from the galaxy collection this is in the shade gal on the moon oh no i dropped it but it's really pretty like purple and it like shifts blue and it just feels really nice on the lips and the smell of it's okay but it's, it's really good gloss and these this color pop gloss i love it's so nice and yeah i would order so many more of these and these kylie ones are really good too this is in posy k and literally these feel really nice on the lips and these smell really good these these feel like really similar um to the color pop ones except they just smell a bit better but they're they're all really nice so so for brows i've been loving the anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade in the shade talk this is just really nice it looks a bit manky but it's really nice then 
blah, 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 mascara. I love the Kiko Extra Sculpt Volume Mascara. This is a really good mascara. I really want to try the Essence Lash Princess Mascara, but whenever I go um, to find one, it's always sold out, but it's really nice. Um, for eyeliner, I've been loving the BH Liquid Liner in Black. Now, I was like, bro, not another one of these liners, because I got this for free when I ordered from... Um, BH Cosmetics earlier this year. Uh, I actually need to order a new one. Anyway, so that's what it looks like. It's kind of drying up a bit. But I can order... They're like £4 on Beauty Bay each, so... But I really like this. It's really easy to use and stuff. It's just... It's just really great. Uh, so, yeah. That's that. And now we're going to go on to my favourite thing. Eyeshadow palettes. Um, some stuff may have highlighters in it, but you'll love it. Okay. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the Wet n Wild eyeshadows. So I have a few different ones, and they're all really nice. So this three pound one in Walking on Eggshells. This is just really nice and basic. The formula of these are really good, and the price is just even better. So that's that one. And um, this one's the one I've probably used most. This is the five pound palette. She fancies floral. My favourite shade in here is this brow bone shade. It's so stunning. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. That's such a nice inner corner highlight. And I love using it all over my lips as well. And then we also have Comfort Zone, of course, um, which is just stunning. Oh, it's just beautiful. And the formulas are really, really good. Just highly recommend this. I know they're changing their packaging, which I really hate um, their new like format they're doing. So I might see if I can... Because I know some places like Amazon, whatever, um, sell this online, so I might try to get another one. I don't know yet though, but these are really good. So yeah. Okay, now I have this. Oh, I can't, you can't get this anymore, but this is really nice. This is a metal matte palette. Palette, palette by Kat Von D. This is my favorite eyeshadow palette I have. You have mattes on the bottom and me oh, sorry, the Metal Crush formula eyeshadows on the top. I love all the shades in here. The Metal Crush formula is so like buttery and smooth and the mattes are really nice and smooth as well and just really nice and pigmented and blend blendable. So yeah. Really like this. And then also I've been loving the I love this palette so much. So this is the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Deluxe Edition palette. Uh, like mine's really dirty and rubbing off. Um, if whenever they discontinue this, I'm gonna buy it back up because yeah, it was cheap and it's cheap enough to buy it back up. This is a really good price for what you get. You get this 15 eyeshadows and six highlighters. They're really the mattes are really nice and blendable, and the shimmers are so pigmented. They are much better when you foil them. I I say don't use them. I like foil them, girl, and or use your finger because I I've got no nails, so I can use my finger, but yeah anyway really good palette really good price and it's just so such nice packaging as well like and this little penguin is so cute i love carly as well so yes and her original one's really good but this one's better and also yeah that's pretty much it i also received this baby for christmas so and i got it on my eyes today used it for the first time and i'm really liking it really liking it um I like it better than the subculture palette actually. I do like the subculture palette but didn't make it into this video. I preferred other things but yeah, I do like this palette. But I'm the the time I've used it today, I actually prefer it to the subculture. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, that's my best of beauty. My desk's a mess now by trying to get all these products out. So I'm gonna have to put them away. But thank you guys so much for watching and have a great new year. Um can't believe it's going to be 2018 i've been on youtube for uh a year and nearly two years in march or april i think and it's just crazy i've actually stayed on here i've actually progressed with this channel it's just mad it's a mad thing mad thing if anyone's wants to watch it i want to thank you so much for sticking around even if you're the first time watching my channels today but it's just absolutely incredible that i've actually carried on with this because this is something that I've really wanted to do. So, yeah. I just want to thank you guys. Anyway. Bye.